Good morning. Good morning, magnificent souls. Hi, community. Talking today about power. Power, power, power. Um, and kind of, I'd love to hear how you're feeling about this subject, about feeling powerless in your relationships or what questions come up for you as I share. Um, for me, this was a trend and a pattern that I really didn't even notice until I really started to get into my internal work. Um, really started to get into my um, deeper held patterns and deeper held trauma, deeper, you know, really stuff that had been around for a while. And I didn't realize really how much power that I was giving away to other people. And one of my teachers, and I think this is pretty true, um, really says like from a, a personal perspective that power can go either to yourself, it can go to others, or it can go to like, like spirit or higher power or God. And depending on what paradigm and what hierarchy that those three different elements in your life live in, really kind of, it's a good filter and indication to kind of where your relationship lies with yourself. For example, my paradigm used to be others, 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 others. So I put other people's needs before mine all the time. And that was a, an emotional and relational pattern that I learned probably in the womb, but you know, if not that at a very young age and <clears throat> what it kind of did as I grew up and decades later was it completely detracted from all of the good things really that I could bring into my life um, because my power is elsewhere. So if you're feeling powerless in your relationships, I hear you. I understand you. And it feels so shitty. It feels like for me, it felt like I could never do enough. It felt like that no matter how much I communicated, no, no matter how much I, um, I like intended for things to be better, um, it just felt like that I didn't have any, for lack of a better term, control or say in my life, right? One sec. And so... Um, it can really get you to a place of like, for me, it was like resignation of just being unhappy for the rest of my life. And it, it, for me, it took me to a place of like deep sadness and deep depression, because when you feel like that you don't have agency, if you don't have control, if you can't be self-actualized as the beautiful human being that you are, Think of how disconnecting that feels to like your internal being and your internal self. It feels really, really just horrible. And if you're there, I freaking feel you. But what I want to say is that this can change, like this paradigm can change. And if you are kind of thinking that you are, if you have a particular relationship in mind, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, but you know, this is seen a lot with with relationship with money and power, right? Um, and the things that people do for that is the thought that I would love for you to consider is wherever you're feeling powerless, you know, wherever you're feeling kind of out of body and disconnected with a particular relationship, family, romantic or otherwise, I would urge you to think about what that is giving you. Like, what are the internal needs that are, that that relationship that you're having trouble with is supposedly giving you, right? For me, when it came to romantic relationships, it was a lot about like, like love that I didn't feel within myself and a lot about validation. Um, with money, it feels, you know, it is something that I'm still healing if I'm completely honest, but it really felt like before that 
if I reach a certain amount of money in my bank account, then I would be happy and then I would be okay. And what that does over time is it takes our agency and our power out to something or something else. It, it puts us, it puts that thing kind of in control of how we feel about ourselves. Because what happens if we can't get it? We feel bad. We feel like it's our fault. We feel like there's a lot of like self blame and, and shame that really starts to happen if this is a pattern, you know, if you've been in this world for a few d- decades, it's a pattern that starts to happen again and again. And that all internalizes within us. And we don't do this on purpose. And that internalization is actually a really great protective mechanism because it's saying, don't try that again. But if we haven't healed our emotional trauma related to that pattern, like if we haven't healed that relational that, that relational aspect that we have with whatever it is that we're trying to achieve, then we're going to keep repeating it, if that makes any sense. And... It's just such like one of my favorite books is Claim Your Power by Mastin Kip. And I go through that book probably three times a year because there's always something different about where I am in my life, what I'm striving to be. I'm always going to be growing. And if you're kind of on, you know, on that mode of being high achievers or whatever it is, like I said, that's kind of coming up for you is like, what are you expecting the internal look about what are you expecting that this thing, once you receive it, is going to mean about you. And if you come up with something like it's going to make me feel like I'm actually loved, it's going to make me feel like that I'm actually successful, if it's going to make me feel like that I'm actually worthy, then my call out to you is there is something in there that needs to be healed because there is nothing outside of us that is going to make us feel that way other than what we are like our true essence our true being our true internal alignment and when you heal that you really start to come in to our like I said our pure essence and our pure being and it doesn't happen overnight but it does happen like I'm a I'm a proud example of that is instead of switching instead of like our our immediate reaction of hurt and pain of whatever you know of anger of sadness of shame or blame it turns into over time it turns into kindness love and compassion for ourselves and then we can start to make decisions that are aligned with us rather than aligned with other people bringing those you know whatever that that extra stuff that we all want, like that love and connection, in order to feel that love and connection that we want, we have to have internal power or all that power is going to be directed outside. I hope that helps today. Bye. Thanks for hanging, Randy. See you next time.